Number 10. The Joker made his first appearance in Batman No. 1, which was published in April 1940 by DC Comics. He was created by Bob Kane, Bill Finger, and Jerry Robinson. The Joker's character is said to have drawn inspiration from various sources, but one significant influence often cited is the 1928 silent film The Man Who Laughs. Directed by German expressionist filmmaker Paul Linney and based on Victor Hugo's novel of the same name, the film features a disfigured protagonist with a permanent grin carved into his face, which some believe served as a visual inspiration for the Joker's iconic smile. While there may be thematic similarities between the character of Gwynplaine from The Man Who Laughs and The Joker, the connection is not explicitly confirmed by creators at DC Comics. Nonetheless, the film is often mentioned in discussions about the Joker's origins and influences. Number 9. In the early days of comic books, it wasn't uncommon for characters to be created for a single issue or story arc, only to be discarded afterward. Similarly, the Joker was initially intended to be a one-off villain. In that story, the Joker was supposed to die at the end, falling to his apparent death after a confrontation with Batman. However, the character proved to be immensely popular among readers, and the decision was made to bring him back in subsequent issues. This decision led to the Joker becoming one of Batman's most iconic and enduring adversaries, cementing his status as one of the greatest comic book villains of all time. Number 8 In the Flashpoint storyline, which explores an alternate reality where the timeline has been altered, Bruce Wayne's mother, Martha Wayne, becomes the Joker. In this reality, it is Bruce who is killed in the mugging incident in Crime Alley, leading Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, to become Batman while Martha Wayne is driven insane by grief and becomes the Joker. This dark twist on the Batman mythos adds a new layer of tragedy to the Wayne family, portraying Martha Wayne as a tragic figure who descends into madness following the loss of her son. The Flashpoint storyline is known for its exploration of alternate realities and the consequences of changing key events in the DC Universe timeline. Number 7 in the storyline, A Death in the Family, the Joker indeed eliminates Robin, specifically the second Robin, Jason Todd. This storyline, published in the late 1980s, allowed readers to vote on whether Jason Todd would live or die after being captured by the Joker. The readers ultimately voted for Jason's demise, and he was brutally murdered by the Joker. Jason Todd later returned years later as the Red Hood. Number 6 the Joker famously cut off his own face in the Death of the Family storyline, which was part of DC Comics' New 52 continuity. In this storyline, the Joker returned to Gotham City after a year-long absence with his face surgically removed, leaving Batman and his allies to unravel the mystery behind his gruesome actions. The Joker's severed face became a disturbing symbol of his madness and obsession with Batman, as he sought to prove that the Dark Knight's allies were weaknesses that needed to be eliminated. The storyline was a dark and intense exploration of the twisted dynamic between Batman and the Joker, leaving a lasting impact on both characters and their relationship. Number 5 The concept of supersanity in relation to the Joker is an idea proposed by Alan Moore in the graphic novel Batman, The Killing Joke. In this story, the Joker suggests that his madness might not be a typical form of insanity, but rather a kind of supersanity, an extreme state of mind that allows him to perceive the world more clearly than the average person. According to this interpretation, the Joker's worldview is so detached from conventional morality and social norms that it grants him a unique perspective on reality. He sees life as inherently absurd and chaotic, and his actions reflect this philosophy as he seeks to spread chaos and undermine the established order. Number 4. The Joker is responsible for a significant number of deaths in the DC Universe, making him one of the most lethal and dangerous villains in comic book history. While his body count may vary depending on the storyline and interpretation, the Joker's actions have resulted in numerous casualties, including civilians, law enforcement officers, and even other villains. What makes the Joker particularly menacing is not just the number of lives he has taken, but also the chaos and devastation he creates. His crimes often involve elaborate schemes, acts of terrorism, and psychological manipulation that lead to widespread destruction and loss of life. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help.
Number 3. The Joker's immunity to toxins and drugs, including fear toxins, is often depicted as a result of his exposure to the chemical bath that transformed him into the character we know. This origin story has been told and retold in various iterations throughout DC Comics. The idea is that the chemicals altered his physiology in such a way that he became immune or highly resistant to the effects of substances that would incapacitate or affect a normal person. This immunity adds to the unpredictable and chaotic nature of the character, as he fearlessly confronts dangers that would paralyze others. Number 2. The concept of there being three Jokers was introduced in the DC Comics storyline Dark Side War, which was part of the larger Justice League series written by Jeff Johns and illustrated by Jason Fabok. In this storyline, Batman gains access to the Mobius Chair, a source of vast knowledge and power. When he sits in the chair and asks it to reveal the true identity of the Joker, he is shocked to receive the answer that there are in fact three Jokers. This revelation has sparked much speculation and intrigue among fans, but the full implications and details of this revelation have not been fully explored or explained within the DC Comics continuity. Number 1 The Joker is depicted as being skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and various forms of weaponry in different iterations of the character across various DC Comics storylines, movies, and other media. While he may not possess the formal training of characters like Batman, the Joker's unpredictability, agility, and penchant for violence make him a formidable opponent in physical confrontations. Additionally, his ability to outmaneuver and outwit his adversaries often plays a significant role in his combat effectiveness. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.